What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammett, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as Mental Illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. Shorter edition, y'all. Today's, today's episode is going to be about why you can't use I feel statements or I think statements, like when you're communicating with a narcissist. I feel, nope, you can't say that. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much. So if you use the words I feel or I think, when you're dealing with a narcissistic person, when you're arguing or you're talking to that person about something that something that has happened, you're going to lose that situation. Because when you use the word I feel, you're using you're thinking emotionally. Narcissistic people, toxic people don't think with their emotions. They are like we are literally logic based creatures. We base our thoughts in logic. We try to remove emotions from situations because we feel like emotions sometimes can make you look can make you feel vulnerable and look vulnerable and sometimes can make you be look weak. If you're trying to communicate with a narcissist, you have to remove the emotional component from the conversation. Or if you lead off the conversation by saying, I feel, and th they're going to shut you down. You feel, you feel, it's always your feelings. You see, you feel this, you feel that. You're so damn sensitive. Take your feelings out of it. Think logically. So yes, when you're arguing with a narcissist or trying to communicate with them, you can absolutely not use the words, I feel. So they will shut you down and say your feelings don't matter and your feelings are not their responsibility. Hope this helps. So welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, y'all. In these quick hits, we get it done in five minutes or less. So I would appreciate it if you stay to the end. If you, if you haven't already, go and hit that notification bell, like and subscribe to the channel. I really, truly appreciate every single one of y'all. But yeah, narcissistic people. Yes, narcissists have emotions. Narcissistic people are emotional creatures. I feel like a lot of people get it twisted thinking that narcissists are devoid of emotions, but no, it's actually, you know, different. Narcissistic people tend to be, you know, overly emotional. But we don't, when we are arguing, you can't, like, when you are arguing or trying to communicate with a narcissist, you can't use those statements. You just can't because narcissistic people will invalidate your feelings because our feelings, the narcissist feelings, mean more to uh, mean more than yours do. How we feel means more than how you feel. You know what I mean? You It's exactly how it goes right there. How, how narcissistic people feel, it, it, it just trumps how you feel. That's why when you're trying to communicate with a narcissist, like I said in the video, like if you say something like, hey, I feel like, hey, can I talk about my feelings? Nope. Eh, eh. They'll, they'll hit that eh, button on you right there real, real quick. Nope. We're not talking about feelings. Your feelings don't matter to a narcissistic person it, unless, unless, unless they are good feelings you're trying to, you know, it, trying to express. You make me feel so good about myself. You make me feel great. You make me feel like the luckiest person in the world. Those feelings would matter because you're stroking a narcissistic person's ego. But if you come to them, your tone is kind of off, your vibe is kind of off, like that narcissistic person can sense that you're about to say something negative about how they are making you feel, they will shut you down because they take any kind of expression of your negative feelings as criticism. It's like you're criticizing them for making you feel a certain type of way. You're criticizing them for for them not being good enough for you and things like that. So when you're dealing with narcissists and toxic people, you have to understand that that's how it is, y'all. The good In with the good, out with the bad. No, let the good in, the bad gets blocked up. So if you're trying to express your feelings or you're trying to say something, you have to like remove the emotions, y'all. You have, you have to. I think when you try to use statements like I think or I feel you, you're going to lose that argument because they you or you think you don't know. You think you don't know. I, I would prefer if you know before you come talk to me. But you're thinking. Cool. Thanks. Thank you for thinking. You know what I mean? Or thank you for feeling. Your feelings don't matter. I can't control how you feel. You my your feelings are not my resp responsibility. So remove the emotional component where you're trying to communicate with a narcissistic person straight to the point. I know that's easier said than done. So many people are like, well, what about my feelings? How do I how do I make them understand that they make me feel this way? Yeah, you know, that is damn near an impossible task. And I know people don't want to hear that. They're like, Lee, you're supposed to be giving us the answers. I am giving you the answers by letting you know that that's damn near an, imp an, an impossible task. So you have to stand you have to stand on it. Communicate, go straight to the point. Hey, I don't like the way you did that. Right there. You, that's a statement of fact. And don't don't y'all don't engage with arguments with narcissistic people. Say your piece, and if you can leave safely, leave the room safely. If you can, you know, not you know, if you can get away from the person safely, do that. If you have to say it, say your piece, but do use discretion, of course. Some some people are violent; they'll hit you or something like that. You know what I mean? So you have to stand in your truth, stand in your power. 
Anyway, y'all, I'm going to cut this thing short. I told y'all five minutes or less. Thank y'all for tuning in. Like and subscribe, please, y'all. Thank you so much. Mental illness is out. Peace.